Everyday life's happening. Some days are more eventful. Others, living protected with insurance you can depend on changes your life for the better. We insure the people and things you care about. Not Not Agency. We'll help you find the right coverage so when life happens, you have the right insurance protection for your family and business. When life happens, live protected. Radio friends, on Tuesday, June the 7th, we're going to talk about hot summer nights. In fact, we're going to start right now with hot summer nights. I want to introduce you to Jane Whiteside. Good to have you here, Thank Jane. Thank you, Paul, for having me. Missouri Symphony Society and uh, hot summer night, just about ready to go, right? We are. Yeah. We are. So what have you got going with Hot Summer Night? Well, our opening concert is called Strike Up the Band. It's every year with Parks and Rec. We do it out at Stevens Lake. Uh -huh. And uh, it's a free concert, so we hope everybody will come. And then we have our normal lineup. When is it? It's the 7th. The 7th. Okay. Tuesday, no, I'm June, sorry. It's the 9th. The 9th. It's Thursday the 9th. Thursday, right. June the 9th. June the 9th. It, strike Up the Band. It'll at be at Stevens, Stevens Lake Park. at the amphitheater at 7 o'clock. All right. And, and it's free of charge and everybody is invited. Yes. That's then, one of our community concerts. Yeah. Then you've got what? Then we have our opening Masterworks, which is Beethoven's 9th, where we're bringing in some soloists. And we have um, a trumpeter coming from the Oregon Symphony, Jeffrey Work. I think our next one is a Missouri Contemporary Ballet, mm -hmm. which is our opening Pops concert. We're doing two performances that night. And Karen has choreographed some premieres Dancing. for that concert. Yeah. Yes, and we're very excited about that collaboration. Now this will be at the Missouri Theater. At the Missouri Theater. On that beautiful right. stage. Yeah. You know what I'm looking forward to? Patriotic Pops. Yes, well, we have that also. And that's going to be on Friday, July the 1st. July 1st, and um, that's a standard for us. Mm -hmm. uh, sponsored by Veterans United, who are good partners for us on that. Yeah. And it'll have all the pomp and circumstance that we always have with yeah, our so you got all, Patriotic Pops. All the patriotic music, that'll be on uh, Friday, July the 1st at 7.30 in the evening. Right, at the Missouri, at the Missouri Theater. Theater. Yeah. Right. We also are bringing in Ben Vereen, who will be one of our Pops really? concerts on July 8th with a song and dance show. Uh -huh. And he's going to be doing some community outreach, too, which will be sort of fun. Then we have the music of Led Zeppelin, which will be our closing Pops concert, which is a big light show. That's on July 15th. Let's see, I think it's 15th. July 15th, July right. 15th. And we also have in our Masterworks, we're doing opera again this year. Well, you have just got everything We do. On. We do. We have two performances of the opera. Deflator Moss, mm -hmm. and we have uh, actually we're doing an opera apprentice workshop this year. We're bringing in four opera singers for three weeks, helped by the Higde Mozart Trust. They're helping us fund that. They will be doing some community concerts as well as working with family concerts, which this year are free. We have two family concerts. Come as your favorite superhero and Sing, 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 which is all about the voice box. And the mm -hmm. opera singers will be helping the kids learn how the voice box works. Are those going to be on Sunday afternoons? Uh, let's see. They are at 6 o'clock in the evening, and I am not sure what, let me see, uh, Wednesday. Wednesday night at yeah, 6 o'clock. Yeah, at 6 o'clock or 6.30, okay. 6.30. All right. Yeah, but and if those you, are free. If, and and if, you, if you want the whole schedule, what, what's the website they can Well, go they to? can go to Missouri. Symphony Society, Mo Symphony Society, Mo Symphony Society org, org. or they can go to the University Concert Series. They can um, buy tickets at the box office at the Missouri Theater, or they can go to our website, click on Hot Summer Nights, and it will take them right to where they can buy tickets. You got it. And dare I ask you the phone number? Our phone number is 875-0600, but I can also give you the phone number for the box office, okay. which is 573-882-3781, okay, and that I, can actually write to the box office. Yeah, I just wanted you to I know you did. I wanted you I to know you did. yourself with the phone number. I'm trying. I did pretty good the last time. Anyway, we're excited about Hot Summer Nights, and we hope All a lot right. of people will take part in the least part of it. I'm sure they will. Jane Whiteside, Missouri Symphony Society, a really nice lady. Okay. Thank you, Paul. Now I got another nice lady sitting right next to me over here, Margaret Tollerton, Missouri Cures. And you come in here with so much information. Uh, I'll try to break spin. it down. I don't know. Well, I, you know, it's hard to follow Jane. I mean, she had a lot of information. Yeah, she does. You know, so, but mine is all medical. Mm -hmm. um, and um, you want to go with breakthroughs? You got some breakthroughs? I've got some breakthroughs um, from Washington University in St. Louis. Um, the headline is, stem cells from diabetic patients coaxed to become insulin-secreting cells. So that means if damaged cells are replaceable, type 1 diabetics 
would not no longer need insulin shots. So you you coax you, you, stem cells from the patient themselves. Okay. To be insulin secreting cells. That's what they lack when they're diabetic. So mm -hmm. that's a huge breakthrough. Well, and yeah. Hopefully, I mean, we're just real, really fortunate to have scientists like that at Wash U and in you know, Missouri. Also, isn't there something you do with stem cells that causes uh, that can uh, help? repair tendons and muscles oh yeah and mu here I, did you see my notes look at that no i didn't okay. but the only reason i knew that is because i was talking about it with with an ankle problem that i have yeah, that yeah, yeah. mu is like one of the leaders in using stem cells and what do they call it bio bio um, well, it's they bio have a something. whole. Yeah. They have a whole new department mm -hmm. um, and using stem cells your own stem cells yeah, to yeah. heal the heel uh, torn ligaments and, and muscles. in addition to that it's not only limited to your own stem cells but um, the article that I brought today actually highlights um, Ferris Pfeiffer was one of the researchers that actually was able to devise a, um, a working plan that keeps the stem cells from donor tissue alive longer so they can it has it's opened up a whole new longer window to make that happen easier. you know there's so much research that's been done and so many advances it's almost like every week there oh, yeah. is a, there's a new advance and you can come to missourycures.org and find out all about find it. out all about it you go to missourycures.org okay so we know that there are new advances all the time what else have you got over there we got about a minute i've got a special event that i wanted to um, give a heads up to it doesn't happen until october but it's already um selling okay. and it's free um you just have to reserve your ticket and it's called clinical trial symposium um, we're holding it at the donald danforth plant science center down in st louis mm -hmm. um, and we have um, basically it exposes the audience to the importance of clinical trials um, and what's being done in clinical trials in different areas. And so, you those mean all the different types of clinical trials that are going on. Well, we limited it to cardiovascular disease, diabetes, and neurological diseases such as Alzheimer's and cancer. So just those clinical topics trials. and find out whether you or someone you love is eligible for a clinical trial and also find out the status of the clinical trials that are currently going on okay. and how that might affect your loved one or your friend okay and stuff. so it's a whole general and this symposium. is all on your website also it is your Missouri website Cures. Again org. is Missouri www.missouricures.org thank you paul all right thank you margaret tollerton missouri cures good having you here thanks again. as always and jane whiteside pleasure to have her she knows the telephone number uh, <laughs> she's gonna, she's gonna kill me. She's gonna kill me. Uh, let's see. Tomorrow, the Boone Museum and Columbia Entertainment Company. Our program directed by Travis McMillan, Reynolds Journalism Institute. Audio is Pat Akers, KBIA. Our floor director, Nathan Wright, and our assistant producer and guest coordinator, Uncle James Mouser. Bye bye.